Hi, I'm Christine, and this is my sidekick, Chase the Dog. We travel the U.S. living out of my SUV, searching for adventure, food, and fun. If you'd like to be our travel buddy, then like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications. I've been living in a car for two months now, so I feel ready to do a tour. I'm still playing around with where I like everything, so I'm sure it'll change, but this is how we've been living. I'm definitely open to suggestions. If you guys see a better way I could organize this, sometimes it just takes a second set of eyes to see a better way. I'm not gonna go in any particular order. I'm just gonna kind of go left to right. <laughs> so starting with my shower bag. Well, I have many shower bags, but this is my main shower bag. So in here, I've got my hair dryer, my jewelry, self tanner. I've got a straightener and just a regular curling iron and my makeup bag. I wanted to be able to use this space against the wall here without things falling down. So I just got a Walmart bungee cord to keep it all together. The Equinox comes with a really deep pocket right here. So this is where I keep my bug window screens. I don't use these very often because I mostly do stealth camping, but if I'm at a campground or a friend's house or somewhere that I don't need as much privacy, you can sleep with the windows all the way down, which is really nice because then you get a breeze, but this net prevents the bugs from getting in. I keep the bug screen protectors here in this little pocket and my my shower bag in this little corner. I have four of these hooks that go on the back of the headrest, which is really nice because otherwise this top area would probably be like unusable space. And since I can't really use them on the other headrest, it'd be too close to my pillows. I use the other two in the back here. Uh, one I found holds Chase's leash really well. I can just prop it up here and he has freedom to move around outside, but still connected to the car. I've found out that whatever you can suspend closer to the ceiling, the better, because it just gives you more floor space and then stuff isn't as piled on top of each other. This is my ceiling cargo net, which attaches to the two handles in the middle and these two hooks in the back. And it really gives me so much extra space here in the middle. It doesn't hold a ton of weight. I did have a corner break on me, but I had it way overloaded. So now I only have light stuff on there like clothes. I reinforced the corners with some key rings from Home Depot and they've held up great ever since. This is my dirty clothes basket. <laughs> I have three bags for socks, bras and workout shirts, underwear. Got a little tote of random girl stuff, nail polish, feminine products, spare contacts, stuff like that. This is my blackout curtain that I use at night to provide privacy between the front seat and the back. This is just a spare blackout curtain that I had from my old house, but it works great. This is a tote of gently used clothing. So just like gym clothes or pajamas, clothes I'm gonna wear more than once. So this shower bag has all my soaps and shampoos, some hair products, my shower flip flops. This is just an old grocery wine tote, but it works perfectly. In this cloth backpack, I have my cleaning supplies, which are my vinegar spray, a bunch of napkins, and a cloth washcloth. In my kitchen bag, I have a cutting board. And my one pan I use for everything. It's awesome, it's nonstick, it's heavy duty. I've used it for way over a year. I love this pan. These are two leftover takeout dishes that are meant to withstand heat. And I use it just like a regular plate or a bowl. And it's cool because they have lids, so if they're leftovers, I can just throw them in the cooler like Tupperware. This is my spare hot liquid cup with a nice lid, but I also use it to organize my utensils because otherwise they just roll around the bag and I can never find them. So I have a spoon, spatula, knife and this little bag holds my silverware they're just like collapsible camping style utensils a plastic cup i got from a cool place i went to in new orleans this is my tiny little tupperware which also serves as a measuring cup if you fill it all the way to the top it's exactly one cup can opener wine opener clothes pins just to use like chip clips or whatever this is my five gallon collapsible water jug this is really convenient for cleaning you can just tip it over like this and you have a gravity fed spout in this corner, I have my film bag. I film with my iPhone, so there's not a lot in here, but I have a cheap microphone, which doesn't really work, a waterproof case, an old spare iPhone for backup footage, two spare power banks, a little tripod, medium tripod. Oh, and my Bluetooth speaker I forgot I had. And so that bag lives in that corner. In the cubby on this side, I have my spare butane cans and my Frisbee from Mardi Gras. This tub has all of Chase's stuff and my grub boots. So this tub is just Chase's food, his snacks, medicine, random dog stuff, and my hiking boots. Underneath the bed is where I keep my cardboard recycling. And I've even utilized some of the spare space in this tire storage area. I have lots of layers on the bed. 
This first one is just a top sheet that Chase can get dirty and I can easily shake out outside. We have two comforters that keep us really warm even when it gets down into the 30s at night. I also have a thick regular sheet, thick fitted sheet, a mattress cover with a little bit of foam, and then my mattress. I keep my Jackery power station in this bag, which I know is really bad for ventilation, but the car is so cramped, there's no ventilation anyway. So I feel like this bag protects it a little bit. Also, it helps me feel a little less weird when I'm walking into a public place to charge it, like a library or a gym. In this door, I have earplugs for sleeping and this essential oil that's supposed to be good for snoring that I put on Chase's nose when he's really being loud at night. I don't know if it actually works or it's just the act of me waking him up to put it on that makes him stop snoring, but it's effective. In this drawer, I have my eye mask, Chase's Kong that I shove a treat into and he likes to chew on, and just a rag that I used for dusting yesterday, but I mostly use it to wipe Chase's muddy paws before putting them in the car. We've got our USB fan propped up in the corner here, so at night it just circulates air throughout the whole car. I keep my solar headlamp strapped to this handle because the sun charges it through the window during the day, and it's like a perfect lamp at night. I have two pillows because I like being cozy. I have this tiny pillow I put in between my knees at night, which seems to help my back. And in this crack right here, I keep my camp chair. This is also where I store my tripod. I store my window coverings underneath the bed. Down here I have Chase's water. This is my main recycling bin. I haven't been able to find a spot for a minute, so I've got a little bit of overflow. A small brush and dustpan to just kind of clean up in between vacuums. Lint roller. All of my clean clothes fit in this tub. I actually built the bed around this tote, so it slides in and out perfectly. Underneath the passenger seat, I have my beach towel and my yoga mat. In the front seat, I have my cooler. This is powered by 12 volt, so I can plug it into the Jackery or the cigarette lighter on the car. I keep my Jackery solar panel propped up here. It's protected behind the cooler and I throw my jacket over it so people can't really tell what it is from the window, hopefully. This is my food delivery bag, which I haven't been delivering food on the road. I thought I was going to, but I've been having too much fun making YouTube videos and just chilling, honestly. So right now it's just holding my chips and crackers. These are all my coffee supplies. I just store them in this nice bubble wrap for a little extra protection. Got my French press, coffee grounds, and this is my 12 volt collapsible water heater. It compresses, so it takes up less space. I just plug this into the Jackery and I've got hot water for coffee or instant noodles or whatever. I just cleaned this door out yesterday. It used to be my junk drawer. I made a clean with me video, which ended up being pretty fun. So go check that out. But now it just has my tennis ball and my slapper. I don't know the real name for it, but it's like a Chinese slapping tool. It's supposed to help circulation. I like it because it reaches the knots in my shoulders. I hold all my tension right in my traps, like in between my shoulders. So I use this tennis ball to kind of work those out too. I know it looks weird, but it works. I feel like that bear from Jungle Book on the tree. Yeah. In the glove box, I just have normal glove box things, insurance, registration. I have a little first aid kit. My big one's in the back storage area by that spare tire. Got a poncho, just leftover fast food napkins. I mean napkins from the salad store. Here I have my pure water filter that I use for drinking water. Under the seat, I've got my big protein powder and my essential oils and my daily vitamin. This big green bag holds all of my dry storage food, soups, pancake mix, protein bars, instant noodles. This case has all of my spices. And this one holds my cooking oil, honey, soy sauce alternative. Up here, I have my reusable shopping bag. The only thing I store in this door is Chase's little coat, his winter coat, he has two. This is my main toiletry bag, which is just a giant purse. It holds my everyday stuff like toothbrush, hairbrush, mouthwash, baby wipes, that kind of stuff. On these two hooks, I have my main water bottle, which is a huge steel water bottle because I need a lot of water and I drop it all the time. I've had this for over a year and I've dropped it so many times and it's still working great. Got my grail water filter and my hat. This is just a little wire trash can. 
I've got biodegradable bags for it. So if I clear out those items, I have all this space here. I say all this space, but really it's not a lot of space, but it is enough space for me to fit into. Under the driver's seat, I have toilet paper, pee jug, shiwi, and poop shovel, which I've still never had to use. So super thankful for that, but I guess it's good to have on hand. Got my iPad in the seat as well. I like to lay in bed at night and watch YouTube on it. I've also used it for filming because it has a camera on it too. I've got Chase's stroller bed propped up in this area. This is the top part. I purposely got a stroller that looks like a regular baby stroller so I could sneak them in more places. Actually haven't, that's not true. I did sneak them in one place. <laughs> but other than that one place, I haven't really had to sneak them in anywhere. My laptop case goes behind that. It's got my laptop and a couple other electronics in here. My butane stove. And then once that's clear, this slides out. Right here is where I store my extra shoes. It's just an upside down Rubbermaid tote, but I can like grab them pretty easily. And it also provides extra support for the bed. Got this other tote also giving the bed some support. And it's where I store all my extra LaCroix that I shouldn't have bought, but they were buy one, get one free, so I had to. And my purse. I've got two extra little blankets for extra padding in Chase's stroller, but also that he can cuddle up with if he's cold at night. The aluminum bar I use for my curtain also doubles as my shower towel drying rack. I taped these fairy lights to the cargo net holder so I can access them from bed. Up front, I have an umbrella, perfume, wipes, sunscreens, pen and pencil, this pamphlet I've been using as a shoehorn because I hate squishing my finger in my shoes and hand sanitizer. Up front, I have my USB expander, which just takes the one cigarette outlet and turns it into several ports. This is the best one that I found. I've been through several. You've seen me probably burn a couple up in my previous videos. This one's nice because it tells you the health of the battery and if it overheats, it automatically turns off, but it doesn't break the unit. All the other ones I've had, if it overheats, it's just toast. You gotta throw it away or find a fuse. This one, once it cools down, it works again, which is awesome. You still can't plug the Jackery or anything that draws a lot of power into it, but for my regular draw devices, it's awesome. My coffee cup always sits up here. Just got breath mints and chop stick on hand, sunglasses, and all my receipts. I'm keeping track of my expenses so I can do a what I spend video, so keep a lookout for that. Got this nice cubby up here for random stuff. Right now I've just got napkins and wipes in it. The cargo net does block the view out my back window, so I installed a backup camera. I keep this ring up here and I put it on every time there's something I'm supposed to remember, like don't drive away with your solar panels on top of the car. <laughs> Hi, Christine from the future. After editing this, I realized I forgot a couple of things. I really wanted to show you guys my magnetic phone holder. It's hands-free, which is so awesome because I am always using my GPS. I really love this cup holder tray as well. It gives me a whole nother level of storage and an alternate place to rest my phone. My junk drawer got moved to the console. I just have random drunk drawer stuff, a super glue, this is my big hat, batteries, duct tape, spare Velcro. I also have a little air compressor underneath the bed and my jump box fits up there as well. So that's my vehicle home. I hope you liked it. I will leave links to a lot of the items in the description if you're interested in buying something for yourself or you can leave me a question in the comments and I will try to answer. If you got value from this video, please hit like and subscribe as it really helps Chase and I out and we'll see you next time.